Hello guys and welcome back to The Corolla Project, a channel where I try and find out who I really am and bring you guys along on the journey of finding myself, trying out new things and having a little bit of fun along the way. Today's video is about something kind of close to me. Um, as you guys probably know, maybe don't know, I am a child of divorce and I grew up with my mum mostly and I grew up with my grandparents but I moved to Edinburgh at a very young age and I kind of don't know much about my family, I don't know much about my background. Also Poland is a place where I don't know if people keep a lot of records, my family certainly didn't um, as far as I know. But like I said, I don't know that much about my family. So as part of the Corolla project and finding out who I really am, I wanted to compare um, a couple of these like DNA kits. So I got these for Christmas. Well, I got this one from my parents um, at Christmas. This is the 23 Me, which is very popular. It's been around for a while. And I just wanna compare how this one goes against the Ancestry DNA kit itself. So my hopes are probably with the 23 and Me more um, because it's kind of worldwide, it feels like. It definitely feels more like everyone knows what this is. Everyone's used it at some point, America-wide, UK-wide. And Ancestry is, I feel like, more of a British brand. And I feel like it relates a lot more to the uh, British people and their DNA and everything else. So I just don't know if I'm going to find much of my family on here. Um, and in another video, I'm going to go into my family tree and the research I've done and try to get there. But I know from doing that research that Ancestry is probably not the greatest service um, because I couldn't find much of my own family. But we will see if maybe this helps in the process. So. If you don't like saliva, if you're like weird about stuff, then probably don't watch this video or at least I can tell you when to skip to stuff. But I am going to go through the process of both of these kits. Um, if you just want to see one or the other and how it's done, then I will just also give you a timestamp of when you can move on to that kit. But I'm going to move on to this one first. So without further ado, let's find out what my DNA says about me. <laughs> So first of all, I have done one of these before, but it ended up in a massive disaster because I sent it off like New Year's Day or something. It was a Saturday. I popped it in a DNA, not a DNA, I popped it in a post box and then I've not heard anything since. And the 23 and Me team has been absolutely lovely. I messaged them saying everything that's happened, that this was a gift and I feel really bad for, did I do something wrong? I don't know, it's lost in the post anyway. So they were really kind to send me out another DNA kit to the place where I live now. And I'm just happy to do it again. So you get this little booklet that says hi. Um, ooh la la. And it kind of takes you through what to do, how to register your uh, kit and everything else. So you're not meant to eat for 30 minutes before um, you give your saliva sam sample. You're not meant to eat or drink or anything um, for 30 minutes. So I've been pretty Good about that i have been getting ready to obviously film videos and stuff so i haven't um drank or eaten anything and also this is what the kit looks like when you open it up um the box in front and the box inside so you do kind of and forgive me for this because i will be spitting into a tube but i will try to save you a lot of that misery um you do get an app with it so you it's called the 23 Me app, so you register your kit and it just takes you through a little registration process. Um, so I've already set up an account, like I said, and I'm just gonna go through this uh, kind of myself. I don't want you guys seeing my special codes or anything. There's a barcode on your kit and you just take a picture of it. And I'm just gonna double check that it's all okay. So that's the kit added and you get to confirm some details and stuff as well and then you get to complete registration and you just get to start spinning. So again, it takes you through the things that you got to do on the app. So spit to the fill line. So spit to there. So it's basically like three fingers worth of spit. 
So I'm just gonna begin. I'm so sorry for this. Actually, before I do that, I am gonna just take my lipstick off just in case it does anything to the sample. It doesn't say that you have to do this, but I'd rather not give them any reason to say I'm related to a lipstick brand or even find out that there's some weird DNA in my makeup. So I'm already slavering. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, so bear with me. So that took that took a lot of spitting. Um, I'll do one more for good measure. But here's my saliva. Also, I lied. It's not three fingers worth. It's just this little bit here. Um, so that was me doing that and then you close the funnel and it releases like a liquid like a stabilizing liquid in there um so i'm just gonna let all of that go in there there we go and then you do get a little cap so you have to unscrew the funnel and screw this back on Just want to make sure it's nice and safe in there and that's my DNA stabilized hopefully and you pop it into the bag where's the entrance so that's me popping it into the bag sealing the bag here we go lovely jubbly I did a pretty bad job of doing that. That's okay, I'm just gonna fold it over. So here's my DNA sample. I will kind of just put it back into this little kit that it came in. And you just pop it back into this box and you close it and you get to seal it. And you just post it like that. So this time I am going to go to the post office with this because I don't trust post boxes no more. And you just send it away like that. So that's one kit done. Uh, you can track your kit if you wanted to, but it's obviously not sent yet. And I am just gonna double check that all my details are right on here. So I'll come back to you shortly. So the app also gives you some options to do some quizzes and stuff just to kind of get more information about yourself, um, genetic health risk, ah, there's so many tutorials, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do, but we'll come back to this when the, when the test kit comes back. Um, Hello my beautiful humans, uh, so my test results for 23 and me have arrived. They have arrived probably about uh, like five days ago, so I've been keeping them under lockdown until now and I just wanted to obviously go through it with you. Uh, these did arrive second, so if you're watching this video first, which will be released first, just know that these results arrived second. I'm just doing it in the order that I put my saliva in the test tube for. So the next video, anyway, these videos might be a little bit mumbled up, um, but I realized that um, I don't have a video for tomorrow because it was meant to be this video and I've not filmed it. So I already showered. I am in my pajamas, so please do excuse me. I have no makeup on, I've already done my skincare. I've put, anyway, you get the jazz. So I just wanted to go through the results on the screen. Uh, so, I just wanted to make sure that I'm filming what I need to be filming. There we go, perfect. So I just wanna take you through the results that we got. There might be some things that didn't get mentioned in the second report, which is the ancestry one, but I'll leave the comparisons for later. I just wanna go through what this one tells you. So this one is really in depth and it goes in depth about um, more medical things so there might be some stuff that I leave out of this video that obviously I don't want to mention with you guys which I'm sure you understand more than anything but I will just share like what 
um, you could get tested for and of course if you do want to get your own test you can do this is not sponsored um, obviously I have like 40 subscribers which is pretty funny if it was sponsored um, but anyway I'm kind of on a on a kick of finding out who I am and you know we'll start from within so we'll start with the DNA and we'll work outwards so enough rambling because I'm sure this is a long enough video as it is let's get on to this so I'm gonna so I am going to be looking over here, hopefully I've given myself enough space to put the screen here because I am going to be screen recording starting now. So hopefully she is recording. So this is the 23 and me kind of startup page just here. And I guess we can start with the ancestry. If you hear any banging and whatnot, I do live with my boyfriend, so he's probably just doing some stuff. Uh, let's see our ancestry composition and because I already know the results of the other one I am a little bit uh, you know I, I know some things that you guys don't know just yet but it's perfectly fine so for the most part it says that I am European actually I am a hundred percent European so there's nothing very exotic about me at all and yeah I would say Poland for sure I'm not sure about Russia too much from what I know in general, like from talking to my family, but I know that I am very much from like here where Poland is. So Poland is right here. And I think the darker it is the more, more likely you are from there. Um, so it says like, these are the kind of regions that I'm likely from because this is all in like, Voivodeship is like uh, a little state, I suppose, or a county. Um, Russia it says it's a likely match, but I'm not entirely sure. Ukraine is a possible match, which with um, what I know is very possible. And Czech as well. I'm not entirely sure kind of my biological father's side of things because I'm not entirely, you know, there. Um, I don't talk to him and I haven't in a long time but it's just fun to to kind of see where where they place me so my results are very much you know Poland very highly <laughs> yeah possible possible um, Russia I'm not entirely sure but maybe there's something there it also says um, French German uh, was Germany highly likely match uh, I do believe that part of my family is from Germany maybe on my like great granddads and whatnot but as you can see none of the other ones are showing up in my DNA at all so that's absolutely fine we'll just leave that there and then we'll just go back to my results and see what else we can find out about me um, this is a very self-centered video I do realize that um, you can see your ancestry timeline which is really interesting, kind of where French German started. Oh, that's really interesting. This is pretty fun. Uh, third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then Eastern European kind of parent grandparent. Yeah, I would agree with that. Let's just go back a little bit too, because I think I saw something about paternal, parental inheritance. So we'll see what that says about me. Oh, I think you need to have two of those to check that. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. We don't need to know anything about that. We're quite happy with just knowing what we're knowing at this stage. What is this? Ancestry composition chromosome painting. All right, okay. It's just similar things. It does get quite sciencey, this one I would say. Um, so, what else can we find out? We can find out Neanderthal ancestry. Uh, we've identified 230 gen genetic variants that can be traced to the Neanderthals, ancient humans who interbred with modern humans before going extinct 40,000 years ago. So, uh, what does this mean? Uh, I have less than 2% Neanderthal DNA. What? I have more Neanderthal DNA than 35% of other customers. Does that make me special? You inherited a small amount of DNA from Neanderthal ancestors. 230 variants in your DNA. 
Uh, one variant associated with is having a worse sense of direction. I am terrible. Less likely to have a fear of heights. Uh, might be a better sprinter than distance runner, which is interesting because one thing that I won't mention in the future video, but um, this sprinter thing does come in later on. Less likely to prefer salty foods over sweet. That is interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say I have dandruff, no. Uh, less likely to sneeze with a full stomach. That is interesting. Uh, you're more likely to prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate. Interesting. Less likely. Who sneezes after eating dark chocolate? What? What else? Rarely use possessions. Is this like hoarding? Uh, so this is all the other stuff that you might have, but I don't have any variants. So that's interesting. I quite like that. I really like this actually. Figuring out who you are. Who am I? Uh, maternal haplo group. Your haplo group shared with the nomadic Turgreg. Tuareg of the Sahara traces a long line of women in your family tree. What? What does that mean? H1. Our ancestors ventured out of Eastern Africa. They branched off in diverse groups that crossed and recrossed the globe over tens of thousands of years. Some of their migrations can be traced through haplogroups, families, families of lineages that descend from common ancestor. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Like you can see where they kind of migrated. Isn't that really cool? Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. So I am going to read all of this kind of in my own time. Obviously, I don't want to sit here and read through everything with you guys. Um, because then you're just staring at me reading about myself. Um, you can see the haplo group from the paternal side. You can ask an expert about the family tree. Um, okay, you can do some like little simple things too. So this is your ancestry. I think you can do health and traits as well. So basically, um, this is like the highlighted version. So I'm basically I'm slightly increased risk of risk of having age-related macular degeneration. I don't even know what that means. So We'll see. Celiac disease, again, I could live with that. Um, what is age-related macular degeneration is most common cause of irreversible vision loss among older adults. So I'm slightly at risk for that, so that's okay. Um, I think just so you know um, that it's there. But that's interesting. The other one here is um, increased re risk of getting celiac disease, so that's an allergy to gluten. You can take an action plan. So, if that's really the, the highlight there, I don't think I have too much to worry about. Um, again, this is kind of something that helps you keep mindful, like keep yourself mindful to things. Um, you can do all sorts of things, health predispositions, carrier traits, explore the genetics behind your appearance and senses, wellness. Blood and biomarkers, new discoveries, so you can do all sorts of things. Um, so I'm kind of going to leave it there because I feel like that is quite a lot of information. You get a whole bunch of reports like... Um, cool, let me just wrap this up. Let me have a little look, see if I can find anything else of interest and we will catch up in like two seconds because I'm going to cut this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed kind of coming on this little journey with me. Maybe I'm encouraging you to find out more about yourself, your DNA and where your ancestry is from. Um, this is a very interesting resource that, you know, if you do have the spare bit of cash um, lying around or if you're generally really interested in kind of genetics, I would say this one is very concentrated on the DNA and the genetics. It's not so much just for funsies, but it is very informative and I think you can definitely get a lot of information from that. So if you do, again, just want to explore yourself a little bit and see what, you know, what you're all about, um, this is a really good resource for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if this is something that maybe you're interested in or if you have any questions for me, what other things um, this service offers. Please do drop them down below. I will 
answer all of the comments down there and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel there is a beautiful community that we're building here and i just want to take you guys on this journey of figuring who i am what this human is doing on this earth and maybe help you guys figuring figure yourselves out along the way and i will see you guys on my next adventure bye Thank you.